Joining us now in the studio, Smiley Stars, Jason Horton, Steve Green, and writer-director Michael Gallagher. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. Thank you so much for being here. Exciting week for you, Smiley, in theaters last night at yes. midnight. And now across America. Love it. Now, uh, this, and it's also an inspiring story for a lot of people watching. You went from your YouTube channel, Totally Sketch, which we all know, and now you have a movie in theaters. Like, how did that all happen? Well, how much time do we have? <laughs> uh, no, it, uh, it happened pretty quickly. We made the movie totally independently. I financed it myself. Yeah. You know, we made it with a group of friends. I cast people I love working with, very talented guys. Steve, Michael, thank Jason, you. And a, lot of, a lot of other great guys on YouTube and, and both in the acting community both. And uh, we just worked hard and then AMC saw the film and said we'd love it, we want to put it out in our movie theaters. And so uh, now we're in movie theaters uh, across the country in select theaters. That's so cool. But I mean, you had those meetings, but it didn't just happen overnight. I feel like it, it did help the, the fact that you did have a good YouTube channel and a presence. You got people to tweet AMC mm. and all of that. Yeah. He abused his, he abused his friendships. Yeah. And relationships just abuse them. Treat them like they're prostitutes, like cheap yes. prostitutes. Like the dogs they are. Yeah. Uh, no, you know, we, I, there's been so much support on the movie. I mean, the trailer has like 18 million views. It just kind of keeps on going. And so. It's a fluke. It, it's a very, and it's a fluke. It's, it's actually a huge issue with YouTube. They're trying to look in. <laughs> are they really? No. Yeah. Well, that's more than some blockbuster films, their trailers. Yeah, I mean, it's nuts. Uh, I mean, we, we were really overwhelmed by the response, and then... It, Blockbuster films should make good movies. Yeah. <laughs> so, I guess that's the answer. Then you also were shooting a lot of footage during the film and bring people on the journey. Is Absolutely. that important to you? Yeah, I mean, you know, I work with these guys, you know, doing sketch comedy week after week. It would be so weird to go make a movie and say, okay, that was all a joke. Now I'm gonna cast real actors. Like, it, these guys are real actors, and they're very talented, and they're but hilarious. But he should have. And <laughs> but he should have. And I probably should have. He probably should have actors. done that. Yeah. He but have. Uh, no. But they're amazing in the movie. And I mean, you know, if you we're like them on not YouTube, really in the movie very much, but we are amazing in the parts that we're in. No, you are. You the are only difference between us and extras is that we got to eat the hot food, <laughs> <laughs> and the extras had to like eat nuts and stuff. Also, <laughs> they had to find twins. Yeah, they had to like find things. How is it going? They had to make fire. How is it going from comedy to drama and horror for you two? Um, uh, like, I, like, you know, like we always kind of talk about, we came from a, like a theater uh, band. Improv. We, yeah, we were doing this before there was a YouTube, uh, like a lot of people. So I think, you know, coming from theater and coming from like kind of acting and auditioning for things, like in a traditional sense, um, it was really just what we already have been doing this whole time. It was like waking up out of bed <laughs> in your pajamas and walking on set. You know, we do this all the time, it's basically just, is what Horton is saying. It's just whatever. <laughs> this is what we do. But it's funny, the, I mean, the movie is, there are funny parts. It isn't like an overly serious movie. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't take itself way no, too seriously. No, not at all. And uh, it's great because even though I work with them all the time and know how talented they are, I still did make them audition. <laughs> He did. Oh. He did. I forced him. Yeah. I would have wanted to see that. Except Horton. Horton didn't need to audition. No. <laughs> well, you know what I told him? That's, that's because he gets story. naked in I'll the movie and you story. know. I told Michael, that. if I'm not in this movie, the movie will not be worth making because I will be a holy terror yeah. in your life. And I'm serious. I mean, you know me. That's yeah. just, and that's how I get things He's done. Honest. Yeah, Do you true. think this is changing the game? The fact that you as a filmmaker, 25 years old almost on 23. YouTube. 23. Oh, God. Sorry. Sorry. I was There's making you really old there. 23, which should even be more inspiring to all of you watching, which means like all of you could be doing this. People What's your watching excuse? On YouTube. Oh, you have a real job? <laughs> yeah. Or if you're much That's older, you could be one. doing this. I, I, think, I think the big takeaway from this is if some idiot like me can make a movie and get it in movie theaters, you can do anything. <laughs> he Literally. Can, he can you barely can dress anything. himself. He wears the same four things every day. Yeah. yeah do you seriously. understand? Like this guy is, you can be him. It's really easy. <laughs> Not that you should be, no. but you can aspire better because I hit this uh, apparently a high mark and I'm, you know, I can barely walk down the street without falling on a crack. No, but you also were very guerrilla in terms of how you marketed the movie. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. And we had talked about this on yeah. the phone before. We're friends. We I was amazed at how you got billboards, the posters. You were had a, an ad and commercial on Loveline. You were everywhere. Yeah, I mean. I love how Loveline means. <laughs> I love Loveline. Love <laughs> You're on Loveline. You're international. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, it's it's one of those things where when we found out we were going to theaters, we found out in August, yeah. and we were going to come out October 12th, today. So it's like, okay, now it's on. We got to make this thing real. So it was literally, you know, I'm not, we're not working with a big studio. We did the deal directly with the theater chain. So we are the marketing machine. So we I literally picked up the phone, was driving down the, you know, sunset and said, 
oh, Clear Channel has the billboard. So I called Clear Channel, <laughs> literally, this. and like worked out a deal and said that I'm an independent filmmaker and that you know I can't pay the Lionsgate fee. What can you do for me? And then we worked out these great deals where now we have billboards all over town. We have a 26-foot digital billboard in Times Square that's playing the trailer constantly it's for three weeks. all paid for with IOUs. Yeah, and like, kisses. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> now they're going to want you're going to want the same rate for your sequel, right? <laughs> it's a squeakle. It's yeah. a squeakle. It's a squeakle. Yeah. And it'll be next October. <laughs> right? That's a Horton trademark. Two trademark. Blood loss. Yes. <laughs> but I think when he made the movie, like you probably weren't like, oh, it's going to be an AMC, so let's work backwards. You probably were like, uh, I, I thought maybe it was like, if it's on Netflix, like that, or Redbox, like, I'm gonna step in Redbox. I think he IMAX 3D, right? <laughs> yeah. And then work from there. And get yeah. James Cameron to put his name on it, because yeah. that's what he does. He doesn't make movies. Just... You can, honestly, on IMDb, you can just throw a credit on James Cameron. You should do that. <laughs> well, it's funny, because- Don't give people ideas. <laughs> my dog's name is Denzel Washington, uh, and so in the credits, is a special thanks, Denzel Washington. <laughs> and everyone's like, what did Denzel do to help the movie? That's amazing. And he's just our little, like, you know, It's funny that your dog made the credits, and I didn't even make the credits. So I'm like, oh, it's true. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> uh, it's true, we actually did accidentally leave about uh, Steve. Tell me about how you, you brought the horror genre to life here. Sure. You actually grew up loving horror movies. Oh yeah, I mean I think we all do. I mean some of my favorite movies are horror movies. It's like The Shining or Alien or uh, Rosemary's Baby. I mean these are movies that aren't you know overly horrific in terms of lots of blood and guts and things, but they really get inside your head and mess with your head. So I remember being like 10, 12 years old watching these and just kind of tripping out and thinking, I've never felt this before. I've only watched cartoons, and now I'm scared out of my mind. I just like the idea that someone could make me uh, pee my pants. <laughs> Do you like doing that? Yeah. yeah. And so now I'm hoping other people will. Would you say that Smiley is pee pants proof? You tell me. Will you pee your uh, pants? I, I pee right out my butt. You pee out your butt? And, and what I love about this is the internet re references because we're all online. We're you know in the meme world and we live it. I'm not just saying that because I'm reading it off a teleprompter. Yeah, but you she, incorporated she really that. really can has cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> you really incorporated that into this movie in ways that it even affected your real life. Yes. Uh, it's been it's been a little crazy. Yeah, we talk about a little bit of anonymous and 4chan, and those are some chocolate of the, rain. Chocolate rain, and you know, Tazon Day has been sending threatening messages. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's take, like, it down, you, yeah take, take it down, Michael. Take it down, Michael. You must take it down, Michael. I own chocolate rain, Michael. <laughs> um, so yeah, but it's it's been an interesting time. But you know, I think ultimately the movie doesn't defame or deface anything. It's actually kind of uh, I don't know a celebration of the internet and the good, the bad, and the very ugly. Well, on that note, thank you so much for being here. And all of you, if you want to be frightened, go see Smiley. Thank you to Jason Horton, Steve Green, Michael Gallagher. I'm, I'm expecting a sequel, and I'm expecting it to be like the Courtney Cox in it. Right? Mm. Journalist? It's coming. It's yeah. going to be Smiley. I'm going to be reporting I, about all the murder. Saints Day. It's coming <laughs> next. It's going any year on January. May. We already got the date. We got the date. <laughs> Steve Green and I start a bed and breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and it gets, go awry. It gets all right. Pleasure. The film is Smiley. It's playing right now at AMC Theaters. So go get out there. See it. You can go to smileymovie.com for more details. Woo!